up, everybody? How's everyone doing? Fantastic. Does this mic work? Oh, yes, it does. Does this mic? No, this doesn't work. It's wonderful to first off be in community. I feel like I, I'm I'm in my tribe right here. Th these are these are creators, innovators, future entrepreneurs, actually current entrepreneurs. I think I I think I, w I already got invited to a pitch meeting earlier today when I was touring some of the apps. So um, first off, congratulations to each of you. It's incredible uh, to know that the future of our country, using technology for transformation, is alive and well, and it definitely gives me so much inspiration, particularly doing the work that we do at All Star Code. So first, a little bit about me. Um, again, my name is Danny. I'm a father of an 11-year-old, a future all-star, a future coder. Um, I'm also an immigrant to this country. I was born in Lima, Peru, and I came to the U.S. when I was seven years old uh, with my parents who, um, who left uh, Lima for a better life. Uh, we landed in South Florida, so I, I heard a, a Lakers mention earlier. I'm going to give a, a mention to the Miami Heat real quick. I know, you know, it's a little controversial, but we also won our first game. Um, but what it really, what, what the, the opportunity for me, what it, uh, coming to this country and being surrounded by creativity, by technology and innovation, my dad was also an engineer, uh, was it unlocked this like mo notion of exploration and using computing, and at the time it was uh, Commodore 64s, Atari uh, 2600s and gaming that really brought me closer to what I call using computing for expression, right? Uh, and being able to be creative and use uh, aspects of our humanity to create really, really cool products and really, really cool things. Um, I've been able, as a result, I, I, I remember watching uh, a show on Nova, on PBS, shout out to PBS, uh, where it showed uh, a, a career of a biomedical engineer, someone that was solving problems of the human body while also using technology and innovation to, to do that work. Uh, and it was certainly a, a desire of my parents and my grandmother in particular that said, I hope you can be a doctor when you grow up. It was sort of this like abuela guilt, if you will. Um, but it, it drove me to be much curious about this profession and I became a biomedical engineer. I went to Boston University. Another shout out to BU in case folks are, are looking uh, at uh, universities. Uh, and it set off a career adventure map of sorts for me once I graduated with a, with a degree in biomedical engineering. Um, 20 years sort of to fast forward, um, I was able to work in management consulting, working at startups, working in technology, and helping uh, organizations sort of figure out how do you go and, and pursue the next leading edge uh, thing that's happening out in the world and, and use it for consumers and use it for, for good. But in, uh, in 2018 is when I came across All Star Code. And what I learned about All Star Code was this focus on providing access, equitable access, to technology and computing for communities that are woefully underserved, but in particular for the stories and the lived experiences of young men of color in the country, across the nation, right? Being able to provide access where dealing with systemic barriers around educational attainment or professional advancement, right? We know that technology is a powerful industry. You know, it's one of the largest uh, largest industries in the, in the U.S. economy with, a, with, with resilience, with, uh, with better pay, better benefits, and certainly when we experienced the pandemic, it allowed even for a notion of safety, right, being able to work remotely in certain jobs. So All Star Code is focused on providing this type of platform for young men of color in high school, high school aged, all the way into the tech workforce. There are uh, three pillars I wanted to uh, just share with you that I hope you you can also internalize and take in as you as you navigate your journey and, and moving into college, moving uh, into career and beyond. Uh, we, we, we embody these, these pillars in, in the work that we do. The first one is celebrating failure. So we, we, we always like to say, um, and just if you can entertain me for a moment, and just clap. Just after I say this, it, it, it may, it, it, I'll, I'll explain. I have failed. I have failed. I appreciate you guys entertaining me here. I have failed is an important, important mindset shift for coders. We know code never works the first time, right? Uh, unless there's some, you know, some unicorns here, and there are. But coding always is supposed to give you that resistance. It, it allows you to just re remain in the moment that it didn't work. 
but it's, we're going to try again. And it's this notion of, my, of growth mindset that we want to inculcate in our students. That's the, the holy grail, right? Is being able to understand that regardless of what you know, you can always learn more. Regardless of how you operate that code, there's probably a lot more to, a lot more to add to the tech stacks. Although I will say the presentations were incredible and the tech stacks that you all are using really phenomenal. And finally, um, what I, I'll say the two other pillars. One is daring greatly and, and stepping out of your comfort zone, right? To dare greatly to present. Honestly, for an immigrant kid like me to be in front of you in this audience in these hallowed halls, it's uh, it's an it's an opportunity to dare greatly. Uh, and and finally, the last thing I'll leave you with is. Tell your, your story, right? Um, when you think about who you are and as you develop, uh, just remember to be yourself because everyone else is already taken, right? So be yourself, tell your story, you matter, your story is really important to the rest of the world and we need to learn more about what you're up to and understand what you value and understand how you're gonna transform the world. So with that, thank you all so much, congratulations. I wanna give parents in particular a huge shout out for your support and for the love that you give to your, to, to your kids in, in participating in this uh, and to the students. You all have really uh, inspired me over the last you know, day and a half. Um, you are creating things. Just remember, you are, you're innovating, you're creating. You're not just consuming on a screen. You are creating incredible projects from domestic abuse reporting to uh, secure communications to DNA, uh, what is it, DNA imputation. Shout out to that team. Uh, but really incredible projects and I hope that this, is, this experience here in DC at House of code is a catalyst for the greatness that you're going to bring to, to this country and to the world. So thank you so much and congratulations.